introducing to you Reverence and Summerlin. And that's what I'm talking about today. So let's get started. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Angela O'Hare, your favorite Las Vegas realtor. And I'm finally doing a video on reverence. You would think that I'm your somewhat expert and I have yet to do a video on reverence. But today I'm doing one. I'm on Lake Mead heading west and reverence is just right off of Lake Mead. It's part of Summerlin West um, and the Reverence Parkway. So Reference was developed around 2017 by Pulte Homes. It's an exclusive Pulte community with only Pulte. That's been a while. I miss doing these videos now that spring has sprung. It's nice to get back out and take care of videos. So what I'm going to do is go around the loop of Reverence and then go into the main Reverence Guard gated part. But first we'll take a loop around stop at the park and then also get inside the guard gated aspect and then check out the houses that are offered there and also the community center that they have there. So when they developed it, they have on the outer edges outside of the gated community, the guard gated community, they have other gated communities, but unfortunately outside the guard gate, these people don't have access to the community center amenities. They do have access to the park though. So if you can see left and right, there's a few um, homes. Wow, big line getting into the gate. That sucks. Well, hopefully we'll do some videos. So let's look at my notes. So when they developed it, they had six home collections with 23 different floor plans, addressing varying tastes and lifestyles. Um, the, the styles were like Craftsman, Prairie, Hacienda, Farmhouse, and Desert Contemporary. So there's two collections, two or three collections on the outskirts, and then four collections on the in, inside the guard gated aspect. But we're going to take this all the way down to Cheyenne. So you can also get into reverence off of the 215 in Cheyenne, head west on Cheyenne, and then head south on Reverence Parkway. But I live off of Lake Mead, so I just went off of Lake Mead to Reverence Parkway. So the park is to the left, the 215 freeway is to the right. We're just going to take this all the way down to Cheyenne, come back, tour the park, and then go into the guard gated community. So I'll stop this for now while you can take a look. <laughs> Just made it to Reverence Park and they have two lighted tennis courts here. It's a very nice park. I mean, just look at the mountain views. Reverence is situated in between the Spring Mountain Range. Again, it's part of Summerlin West. People think it's part of Summerlin South, but it's not. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier when I was driving. The HOA for Summerlin West is $55 a month. It used to be 48 and they recently just increased it. They have this huge field right here. And I don't know what this dirt is because it says it's supposed to have. Let me look at my list. Um, this is an eight acre park that also has walking trails. 
it's, this is an amphitheater. I guess that's the amphitheater, but I don't know. I think they need to work on that. <laughs> I love tennis. Just recently started taking it up after not playing since high school. Look at those houses. They have some nice views of the mountains. This is the larger collection. It's actually a perfect day. It's not too sunny. It's a little overcast. They also have a sand volleyball court and uh, a basketball court and this play structure. We'll take a look at the basketball court and then head back and go into the guard gated community. Oh, that looks like fun. I want to go play tennis today. <laughs> and I like that they have the walking trails, which is really nice. Here's the basketball court. Alrighty, I'm gonna head back to the car. See you guys on the flip side. Okay, we are leaving the park. Going to head over to the Gardena Community Park. There you go. It's a beautiful park. Now let's see how that's gonna be. Hopefully there's not gonna be a long line. I have clients that I sold to last year, so this is how I'm gonna have access into the community, which is pretty cool. So I guess the community, the ones on the outskirts, outside the guard gated, those collections, they're smaller floor plans. Um, they're around 1579 square feet to 2806 square feet. And then the one behind the guard gated is the bigger floor plans with 2156 to 4815 square feet. Obviously, I'm not going to give you a tour of the homes in uh, reverence. There's no longer, it's not under new construction anymore. Everything in here is resale. So just FYI on that, it's sold out. But they do have resales here and they're pretty expensive. So let's see what's going to happen. What I'll do is I'll take a tour of the community and take some photos of the house as well and then probably go to the community center last. Hello. I'm here to see my clients. I have a, they put me down on the list. What's the address? Um, 11120 Red Yucca. Okay. Angela O'Hare. I'm going to put your grade in real quick. Yeah. Okay. Have a good day. Thanks. Do I need a pass or anything? You're good. Okay, thanks. You must want a pass. Nah. <laughs> I really like how it's so up close to these mountains. It's beautiful. We'll go to the community clubhouse soon. Oh, 
let's see, which way do I want to go first? Uh, let's take a right first. So my clients, when they bought this time last year, actually a year ago from today or a year ago from yesterday, they bought uh, a single story home and it's overlooking that mountain straight ahead, which is very beautiful. Uh, let's see if we'll go on Red Yucca. Okay, so here's Red Yucca. We'll just go down Red Yucca. They weren't home today, but they gave me permission to come through here. These look like on this side is all the single story homes. So while I'm driving, I might as well just record to show you what, why does my battery say low? Okay, what these single stories look like. They're nice homes. Ooh, I like that garage. And that garage. Can't remember where their house is. drive around the whole community I just really wanted to show you a certain area and then go up a little where like a lot of the bigger houses are now right here to the right I know you guys probably can't see it is where the model homes used to be I don't even know where they are now which one was a model home because they have that as a parking lot but these homes are really big I don't think there's any that really have city views, but I like it because it feels very exclusive in here. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. That looks like all single story. And this looks like all the big ones. Let's go up a little, a little more elevation. I should have come out this way. Oh, that's a nice looking house. I like that style. That's very cool. I used to know all the floor plans here, but I kind of forgot what they're called. I don't want to keep on taking pictures of single story homes. Here's some of the See, I like this model right here. That's pretty cool. And this is a very nice looking one too. Right up against the mountain. Very nice. That one, nice too. This one's a very nice ranch house. <laughs> People are probably looking at me, what in the world is this chica doing? Alrighty, so this is the guard gated aspect of reverence. Wow, that's a pretty yard. So now I'm going to go drive to the clubhouse and then call it a day. Thank you.
So this is the clubhouse. Looks like they have a few tennis courts as well. Gosh, I mean, so beautiful. I love those mountains. I don't think I'd ever get tired of it. We'll go there in a minute. Hopefully they'll let me record. Let's check out these tennis courts. Let's see how many there are. One, two, three, four, maybe? Oh, pickleball courts. They're not tennis courts. One, two, three, four pickleball courts. Good to know. Good information to know. Take a peek over here. So nice. Ooh, I may have access to the pool. Look at that. It's like a little village. Well, it is a village. It's a Summerlin village. <laughs> very peaceful. I could live here. Darn it. Oh man. They had me fooled. It's a nice community pool. Obviously it's probably not open yet. Not sure when it will open. All right, I'm gonna stop this for a second. Okay, I had to get some photos of the pickleball court. I will be doing a series of uh, a video of tennis courts and pickleball courts in Summerlin. So I knew that there were tennis courts here at the uh, Reverence Park, but I didn't know they had pickleball courts behind the gate, guard gated. So let's check out the clubhouse if they let me in. May not let me video, but you never know. Doesn't hurt to try, right? It's a perfect day, it's not too bright. Ah, some of the houses may have some city views. It's a little overcast today, but you can't see. Looks like downtown, straight ahead. I don't know if you can see it. The only thing I wouldn't like is those houses in that community are by the freeway. I'll put this camera down. Alrighty, folks. I just went in, asked if I can do some video, and they said no because of licensing. Everything is found online. I tried... Maybe I can find some pictures online and kind of show you guys. We shall see. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for taking this tour with me. Let me flip this over. Can't. Thank you for taking the tour with me. I hope you enjoyed it. It's a beautiful Saturday, so I'm gonna enjoy the rest of my Saturday. If you have any questions about reverence, if I miss something that this community has to offer, leave a comment down in the description below. Um, if you're thinking about buying in Summerlin, I'm your local Summerlin expert. You can call me at 702-370-5112. Um, that's it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe, like this video, all that good stuff. See you guys on the next one.